what I'm doing today. Today is July 8th and a couple minutes before the open house started. As promised, I am starting my vlog out in the uh, yard and I'm going to go back in a second, but I wanted to show you these two trees first. Um, I was in and out all week and as I was driving, I was in and out doing the basement, but I was driving in and out. I noticed that these two trees right on the front driveway here when I pull in are loaded with little pears. So I thought that was awesome. Um, so I'm gonna put you on pause and I'm gonna walk to the back. I'm gonna show you all the other things in the back. On my way down here, I passed several more apple trees and they're all different kinds. And these trees um, are, these apples are gonna be edible. Unlike like just kind of like wild apples that you can't really eat. So there's about 16 acres here. Um, the majority of the 16 acres is what you see right here, as in, you know, brush and all these fruit trees. Um, I'll take you further in, but there's a bunch of pine trees out there too. I'll keep turning you, probably making you sick, but there is um, raspberry trees too. So I will put you on pause again and I will take a little walk and show you what else we got. These are some awesome walking paths and all these trees and all these bushes. Um, it would be cool if it was cut down a little bit more or some more paths just so you could get to the pine trees and some of these apple trees better. There are some peach trees. There's actually one right there. Can't really see it, but I'll take you over there. Um, I don't know how much it's bearing or growing at the moment, but we're about to check that out. I've always told my wife I wanted a house with some pine trees and I love those kinds of pine trees. I don't even know exactly what kind they are, but I always imagine putting a hammock up between those. Now, most of, the, most of the land, like I said, is this field and these trees, but there is some actual woods, um, anywhere from two to three acres of actual woods back here. There are also some grapevines and some raspberries. So I'm gonna have a couple, because I love fresh raspberries. And I'm gonna keep walking. Now the morning after the open house, um, only two people came through, um, which is a little surprising. I thought we'd get a couple more, um, but the one person did have some interest. He lives in a similar house with uh, half an acre and uh, he really wants the actual land, which is, this is 16 acres, so that's good. I'm definitely already sent him a note, and since I used the Spacio app when he signed in, he got an email Sunday night anyways. <clears throat> but I just want to show you real quick that there is also a plum tree on this property. Um, I don't know what the count of tree trees with different fruits are on now, but I'll figure that out later. But you can see the little plums growing right there. There's a couple red ones up there. Um, not a lot with real estate this week. But I'm going to meet with Dave, my manager, in a couple days here. We meet every other week and talk about some lead generation. So. All right, it is now Wednesday afternoon. Um, we finished that small interior yesterday and we've been working on the deck all week. And the deck color was supposed to be picked last night and it was, of course, not picked. She hasn't made up her mind yet. She's not even narrowed it down to three. So, I don't have much to do for the rest of the day. So on my way home, I was thinking what I was gonna do today. And then I realized that I had my goals written down over here and I should be working on my goals. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I only have, I did a Popeyes two, two months ago and I did about 20 or 30 of them. Yeah. And I realized, and I looked at my list, that I'd probably easily have another 20 to 30 to do. So, I uh, bought the rest of these little jars at the hardware store. And there's only about three boxes of them, so there's only about a dozen of them here. But I'm going to fill them all up and go do uh, Popeyes right now and get after my goals. Alright, it is now Thursday afternoon. Um, I did a total of 12 Popeyes yesterday. Um, I only saw two or three customers. Obviously, most aren't home on a Wednesday afternoon, but I did text uh, pretty much all of them afterwards saying I dropped off something just to keep an eye out for it. 
And I just wanted to say a little bit of a uh, quick story before I wrapped up this uh, week's vlog. Um, four or five years ago, when I first moved to Rochester, I think my second summer, I painted a full interior up in Webster. Um, trim, ceiling, walls, everything. And I was there for about a month, and the neighbors across the street always waved. And one day, um, it's like good morning, and one day I walked over with the brochure, introduced myself, talked to him a little bit, and uh, went on my way. And they called me about last month. They wanted a little bit of painting done. So I went over and did an estimate, and they mentioned how they want to sell within the next two years. So as I'm talking about the painting that needs done, I brought up the fact that I'm a real estate agent now. So that sparked a bunch of interest. So we spent the next 45 minutes talking about what painting should be done, what should be done before they want to sell, listing it and pricing, trying to give them a little bit of a market analysis on their home and what their home is worth. So it went from a uh, little painting estimate, just a couple ceilings, to they're considering painting everything and redoing the kitchen to try to get the max and I talked about the pros and cons now if how much money they put into their house is not necessarily going to get all that money back but they're going to get better offers sooner instead of not putting any money into it because the kitchen is very outdated and the house really really should be painted the outside is probably in the best shape it could be other than a couple bushes maybe torn out like literally that's it just because it feels so crowded and uh, so they're definitely considering that their options of how much how much um, a new kitchen would cost and all new the paint and, and what their max price would be. So I did like kind of a quick numbers for them. And uh, they were very kind of happy that I came over and met and so was I. So we talked again for about 45 minutes and I left that night. I wrote them a little thank you note for uh, meeting with me and talking about real estate and possibly listing their home. So um, I'm actually over there this morning painting the shutters for their neighbor. And uh, they went out, he was outside, he said hi, thanks for the note. And he was, uh, he had to leave, but he left. But it was, I, I felt like I left a super good impression on them. And this goes back to my other vlog a couple of weeks ago about just treating people nice and uh, being a human because then the things always lead back and it's just so funny how weird acquaintances over time are leading to really good paint jobs or real estate transactions like i said one of my first um, real estate transaction was through a guy who actually worked at the sherwin williams and we just kind of became friends he just got to know me over a couple weeks and he ended up moving to another store but he always remembered me Anyways, that's the rest of this week's vlog. Please like and subscribe and uh, go ahead and leave a comment. Um, I appreciate everyone that's uh, watching this. And uh, I think I'm going to do a surprise vlog this week, and a, like an extra one. Um, I'm going to do it about a certain training I went through. So I'm going to try to write some notes about all this training. It was a 16-week course. I didn't really mention it too much in the vlog, but I just finished it last week. So anyways, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.